Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're actually going to be looking at how to get a lot of gold, silver, and copper in WoW Classic. WoW Classic has many ways to get uh, you know, all that silver, all that gold uh, and you use it non-stop through buying items or uh, training or flying like I am now. Uh, you're going to use your silver and your gold non-stop throughout the game and you're going to want a very big supply because at level 40 you're going to need that mount for 100 gold. Uh, 100 gold is not easy to come by unless you are you know, pretty stingy on what you're doing and what you're spending your money on. So there's a couple tips I have for you guys today to make sure you have the right amount of gold for that level 40 mount and make sure you have access gold for that 1000 gold uh you know level 60 mount as well so you're going to basically want to do a few things so we're going to start by uh kind of quickly going through these tips in a general sense uh and then we'll kind of later go through um you know each individual one in a better detail in case you guys need that so we're going to quickly do this video in about five minutes and here we go uh number one so you're going to want to make sure you have one of these add-ons and the add-on that I specifically have is Auctioneer. Auctioneer, um, basically if you're doing quests a lot, uh, when you go to you know turn in a quest, you get to pick one item or another item. And obviously some uh, you know some of those quests you're not going to get an item that's actually usable for you. Uh, so your next uh, you know thought should be you know which one sells for more. What one can I get the most profit out of? Uh, and usually there's going to be a big difference in um, you know the item quality uh you know like some of them i know uh, let's see here betrayal within let's see what we get here um so these actually aren't going to be a huge difference but you're going to be able to see an example basically 13 silver 55 copper and 13 silver 60 copper so this is what you're going to want to weigh uh you know weigh your options here you're going to want to see what is worth more um you know there's been options i know on one of the quests i can't remember specifically which quest there was one uh item for 75 silver and there was another one for 25 silver uh you know cloth usually goes for a little cheaper and mail goes for a little higher and that's probably the reasoning there but basically i got the 75 uh silver uh, item because there was really no reason for me to get either item. They were both a little bit worse than what I had. So make sure you guys uh, do get Auctioneer and save some money that way. I, I know that's going to help me a lot and has helped me a lot. I'm at 10, 10 gold, 61 silver. I've bought a ton of uh, or learned a ton of abilities already and bought some uh, items as well and I'm still doing all right and easily going to be able to hit that 100 gold mark at level 40. Um, another tip I'm going to have for you guys is to make sure you guys pick up a profession. Uh, some of the best professions are just selling to the vendor. So, um, like for an example, skinning, uh, you're not going to be able to really sell what you skin to the auction house for that much money. So you're just going to sell it, sell it to the vendor. Uh, and that's going to actually give you a lot of extra income on the side. And I think you should definitely do this. And, you know, I specifically have mining on this account. And that's going to be very helpful when I see a mining or an ore, uh, you know, nearby, I can go over quickly mine it. Um, and it's just something you can do that's not really out of the way, but it's just a little extra income to make sure you hit that 100 gold mark at level 40 and that 1,000 gold mark at level 60. Obviously, that 1,000 gold mark at level 60 is not going to be possible for everybody, um, but through raids and dungeons, you should be able to get close to it. So uh, with those two tips uh if you have any questions or comments in the you know you can leave them below but i just wanted to quickly go over you know two quick tips to save a lot of silver uh or gold or copper whatever you guys are saving and whatever part of the game you're in right now uh make sure you have the action you're like turning in those quests and making sure you get you know the item worth uh you know this bang most bang for your buck it's definitely worth the time of downloading the auctioneer add-on um and then you're also going to want to have um what do you call it? You're going to want to for sure have a profession. Uh, and if not, you know, I have mining and engineering so I can mine and then turn it into engineering uh, items or products. And, you know, I can sell the engineering products and then whatever leftovers I have uh, of mining or uh, I can also just sell like that. So, uh, you know, make sure you get a profession and make sure you get this auctioneer add on. I'm going to quickly show you guys what the auctioneer add on looks like here. Um, this is going to be from Cursed Forge. It has uh, about 27 million downloads, obviously. Um, you know, it's it's a necessary add-on for a lot of people. Uh, you, you, class, you know this bang, most bang for your buck. It's definitely worth the time of downloading the Auctioneer add-on. Um, and then you're also going to want to have, um, what do you call it? You're going to want to for sure have a profession. 
Uh, and if not, you know, I have mining and engineering so I can mine and then turn it into engineering uh, item.